Uh, hey guys, welcome to the Blind Wave Cup podcast number five. Co- 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 podcast. Co- 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 what? The cockcast. The cockpast. <laughs> oh, that's and today, Aaron Elliott has a really interesting subject that he came to me when he called me last night and he was really bothering him. I said, huh? Aaron, save for the podcast, buddy. He, All right, he did no such thing. He what? did. No, he didn't. I recorded it. I was there. I recorded it and I play it backwards. <laughs> then edit this you podcast right. and right. put it in there. You were at Aaron's when Shane called? <laughs> when I, no, when I Aaron, did you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> he never knows. <laughs> I was, was under his steps. Never knew. There was one time I got pictures from Calvin that were of like outside my house and then of inside my house, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> like I was upstairs in bed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, "What's going that, on?" This isn't a joke, right? No, this is no, not this a joke. Real. This actually happened. Yeah, it happened. It was like of like my back door. You were sending pictures. Like, as he traveled yes. through my house, he was, like, texting me pictures. What time, yes. what time of night was this? I um, I think it might have been, like, 2 a.m. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's Melanie scary. was at work. Otherwise, I would not have done it. Was she, was she at work? Yeah, she was at work. She would have fucking freaked out if that happened. Like, there's one picture of, like, because, like, from the back door, like, the basement back door, you can see, like, into the room where I have my PC and stuff on, and the lights are on, and he's like, I know you're in there, Aaron. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know what it happened. Like you do all that, and then Aaron's on his bed going, like, oh, you know, and then there's a picture of Aaron on his bed going, and then he's looking at his head. Like, oh. <laughs> he's just like surprised. <laughs> like, all fours, back arched. <laughs> what? <laughs> but no, I just remember like looking, and there was like outside my house, looking through the door at that area inside the house. Yeah. Closer by the steps. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? <laughs> so what's your topic, Aaron? I suppose this, the the topic that Shane is talking about is uh, processes of going to sleep. Yes. Like I remember, like as I grew up, oh, having wow. different methods of how methods I of going would to sleep. how I would fall asleep. You know. Yeah. Like I can't fall asleep unless you know having a light or being in the dark or whatever. It's it was. definitely changed for me. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. remember when I was younger, I was afraid a lot. I had to have <laughs> a lamp on in the bedroom. Like I just that, I had to have a light source somewhere. Mm-hmm. I know my biggest one was probably, I used to watch Star Wars. Yeah. I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I had a tape that my parents had recorded because they did that whole traveling in a motorhome thing, and they'd yeah. stop and rent a movie, and then they'd record it on another tape yeah. so they could take it with them. Thieves. <clears throat> they borrowed it. My pirates. Favorite, they were the OG, Road pirates. OG pirates. <laughs> with, their, with their road boat. <laughs> with their road boat. <laughs> but, uh... I would put that tape in because it had all three of the original trilogy of Star Wars on it. Oh, six so, hour tape. Yeah, so I would start with episode four. What the hell was super tape? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'd start with episode four and then fall asleep and then it would just keep playing. Yeah. And if I woke up sometime in the middle of the night, it would still be playing typically and I'd just, oh, more Star Wars and I'd just you fall back asleep. Just as subconsciously watch. learn the entire movie. Yeah, like it, it was probably like one of those things like if you listen to like songs or whatever like you memorize them you know yeah you can you can like program your mind to have different responses and stuff like that so I, now I you, do you get tired when you start watching episode four i don't know i haven't watched it in a long time so maybe like if, if you're laying down like, on the couch or something like that it's would ma- you it it's relaxes. comfortable it's, it's, relaxing. Relaxing. it's a matter of being yeah. like it's like your home yeah your home and you're safe because star wars is on yeah yeah like lately right now unless i'm sleeping like in bed with melanie because she doesn't like TVs and stuff on. She likes like a light in the hallway on, which bothers the hell out of me. Fuck yeah. I like it being like dark, Pitch black. or I like having like a TV on where there's like a background noise and I can hear that. Yeah. And I used to like Star Wars. Like Hoth was really bright, so I would turn the brightness of my TV way down, <laughs> and then also turn it to like black and white, so it was sure. as dark as it could make it. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, anymore now, I I watch Bob Ross. Bob Ross on oh, yeah. Twitch? No, there's season one on uh, Netflix right now. Oh, like 24 Netflix, yeah. episodes. And I just turn on Bob Ross and just watch him paint little fucking oh, happy, Robert Ross. happy clouds and stuff. Little you know? fucking happy tree little... right down here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just put it wherever. Just make, go, go make some big decisions today. Yeah. We're, we're going to put our mountain right here. Here's a chip See? here. Look at this little it, guy. I, and it's just, I, love, I don't know, it's just soothing. I love you know? Bob Ross. Robert is a good man. But like I was thinking about that and I, was, I wondered if you guys had any like methods of how you guys either fall asleep now or used to fall asleep. I mean, it's definitely changed. When I was a kid, I always had to go to sleep with something on the TV. Like, all the lights are off, but just the TV is on that, you know, that blue flicker back in the day when you had this standard SD with three channels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the, the yeah. ratchet changer? Yeah. yeah. So, it's all. it was always like a VHS, either like a Disney movie. You like or, that blue light? Yeah. Or like Jurassic Park mm-hmm. or Star Wars or whatever. As long as it was something. Like, I I never, like, made a decision to go to bed. 
I just was suddenly asleep. Yeah. While watching something, right? See, I think that's what helped me. I was never, yeah, I, I could never just go to bed. Now, I don't have, I, I purposely don't have a television in my room, you know? I keep all stuff away. I have my phone, which kind of messes me up sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but now I, like, I work and work a lot, uh, it's, it's just a lot of time doing mm-hmm. what I'm doing now, you know? So I sometimes I have to make a conscious decision. Okay. If I, I have to sleep now, because if I sleep now... I'll get four and a half hours. If I sleep now, I'll get four hours. If I sleep now, I'll get three and a half. You know what I'm saying? It kind of happens as you're working. So I'll I'll constantly, I'll go upstairs, all the lights are out, I have to have a fan now. Even in the, when it's cold in the winter, I have to have a fan. It's either the white noise or just the breeze, but if I don't have a fan, I can't go to sleep. Like, my fan in my bedroom broke, and I've been sleeping on my couch with the fan that's right above us right now for the last, like, week. (laughs) I went and bought a fan... Today, because I'm going on vacation, and I don't know if I'd be guaranteed a fan. <laughs> so you just wouldn't I, sleep? Yeah. There's probably a fan in the hotel. I don't know. It's a there's, condo. There's probably like an AC unit that, or something. Mean, it doesn't matter. I have an AC unit here. I just have to have a fan. I have to have the noise. It's, I don't know. It's just comforting. You gotta have it blowing on you? I gotta have it blowing on me. See, I always feel like I, I don't like like the fans blowing on I me. I love it. Like, it. dries up my throat, and I feel sick in the mornings. No, what I do really? is, it has to be really cold. I have to have a fan blowing on me, and then I can use, like, a heavy blanket, you know? Because you're like... <laughs> I like having a really cold face and a really warm body. And you know cold what, feet. You know what started this, probably? Hmm. Was your stories from the Third Street house. Probably. Whenever, like, you got, you would fall asleep on the couch, and they'd have to wake yeah. you up, and you wouldn't wake up. No, 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 no. no we'll say that for later. No, we'll, we'll transition to that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Just make sure you remember. I, I, I famously, to give a little tease, I cannot be woken up in conventional means. It takes forever to wake me up. I'm getting a little better now because I actually, like, tell myself and give myself time to sleep. Whereas back there, I just didn't give a shit. Like, yeah. Sleeping was boring because I had so much I had to do. <clears throat> I got some stories about this man sleeping. Yeah. But first of all, before I get into probably a little rant on my sleeping, and you know what's funny? Nowadays, it's like, all right, now I'm turning the TV off. I gotta go to bed. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, now I'm like, okay, but now I gotta get on my phone. But yeah, then you're on your phone. All right, now I'm gonna get off my phone, now I can go to bed. It's just kind of funny. And then you're thinking yeah. about shit. You know? Yeah, then you're thinking about See, shit. You can't, I can't turn my fucking mind I think off. that's what helps me sleep with, like, TV on, is that you it helps it shut off. things down. Yeah, because like, you're kind of focused looking, on that. Yeah, I'm not looking at my phone. I'm just, I'm just listening or watching. But you're not watching something, because you watch something new, you gotta pay attention. You watch something that you know and you're comfortable with, then it's just soothing, I think. Yeah. You Star know, Wars is a good one, I yeah. think, Aaron. Over the last year or so, I've made it, like, whenever I decide, okay, time to go to sleep, completely dark, I got a fan on, I purposely, like, try, I don't know if you call it meditation, but I try to not think about anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I do that, I, I, I imagine... Focus on your breathing. Like, I imagine, like, yeah, that kind of stuff. I imagine my fingers and my toes, like, shutting off, and my oh, arms shit. are, like, shutting That's off. That's what I do now. I do that, like, I, when I do that, I get to my head... And then I'm like, okay, and now it's time to sleep. And when you do that, sometimes you can get into some... Uh, lucid dreaming. Lucid, lucid dreams. Dream. Yeah. You can sometimes do that if you try to make yourself aware that you're falling asleep. Because sometimes when you do that, you can go immediately into a lucid dream. It's pretty fucking sweet. And like, just know you're in a dream and do whatever you want? You know that you're in a dream and you can do whatever the fuck you want. That'd be fucking spider yeah. Fucking Matrix. You can Spider-Man, Spider-Man with a lightsaber. Wouldn't that be sweet? It's really hard to stay in it, though. Yeah. Because especially once you start investing in it, then you start yeah. immersing well, yourself more. The the worst thing about it is like sometimes I'll real like I'm in the middle of a dream that I don't know that I'm dreaming. I'll realize I'm dreaming, and I get so fucking excited that I'm dreaming, and I wake myself up. <laughs> really? I hate when that happens. Fuck, yeah. I'm in a dream. Yeah. Oh, no, that. really, that's really hard to do. No. And I, and another thing they say to do is like, this like to be able to like figure out if you're in a dream or not is in your day life, in your waking life. Every time you like go through like a doorway. Like, knock and say, am I dreaming? And you're like, no, I'm not fucking dreaming. I'm fucking crazy. You know, but if you do that enough, you train your brain to think that way so that whenever you're in a dream and you're going to do one, you're not going to, wait, I can't fly. This is, I'm a dream, you know? Hey, and it, sometimes that wakes you up. I say, will that wake you up? Sometimes it will, but if you practice it enough, eventually you just like, oh, I'm dreaming. Sweet. Okay, let's do some shit. I did not know about that knocking thing. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a, practice you can do okay yeah it's 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 something that you can train your mind yeah. to do unconsciously i've never been to do it every night i've probably had six or seven in my whole life in your but, whole I, and life? I've been, but i've been trying like over the last year to like when really? i go to bed to try to do it sometimes yeah hmm. see i i lucid dream like all the time yeah like the dreams that i can remember which there's probably two or three a week that i can wake up and remember are lucid dreams yeah 
Um, I don't. I don't fall asleep easily when there's no noise in the room, but it has to be consistent noise. Sure, I get you. Like, like white noise. Yeah. White noise. Like a fan and my face has to be cold like you. Mm-hmm. I generally use like four to six heavy blankets. Flannel. Like six. I, I live in the basement, so it's consistently I mean, like 60 degrees down there. My strategy is twofold, though, because I want it super cold because yeah. I personally like it. But two, if I ever have a lady friend over... It's super cold. They gotta get close. They you know gotta get under the blanket too. They gotta get under the blanket. Hey, can I sleep with you? I can I'm, see really, that. I'm really hot. What if they don't like the fan on? Fuck it. <laughs> well, I can't house. sleep without the fan. I go to their house. I'll bring my own fan. Yeah. No. no. In their face. <laughs> no. No. If, if they're too cold, it's like oh, look, I'm more covered, baby. Look how look, I'm. I'm fucking. I'm oozing hotness. I'm, I'm good. Fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm yeah. oozing hotness. <laughs> no, but I. Uh, in in between the the joists downstairs since it's not really a finished basement i've wedged a box fan between the joists sure and i have it blowing directly on me it's a really fun word to say joist yeah wedge joist 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 with an st at the end yeah say it. j-o-i-s-t okay say it Aaron. joist joist you fuck all this stuff <laughs> it's fun <laughs> it's fun <laughs> try to enjoy the fun i know a joist no you're like I know a Joyce too. I know multiple Joyces. She's a neighbor. But yeah, I actually have three fans on oh. at once, and they're all within arm's reach of me yeah. when I am asleep, and they are all over my head. <laughs> I okay. have one. What? I have one. Are you like a coffin, like an air conditioned coffin. <laughs> like I, my my bed is a loft. <laughs> sure. And it's I have nine foot ceilings downstairs, so my bed. I know is, that you is, said nine foot ceilings. But in my head, I heard I have knives in the ceiling. <laughs> that was completely fine. I'm oh like, my gosh! I have knives in the ceiling. In this case. <laughs> like what's going well, on? Well, I mean, I I do also. I'm sure. But um, no. But I uh, my bed is about seven feet off the ground. Yeah. So I have like two seven? feet of of sleeping space from the top of my mattress to the ceiling. Yeah. Dude, you can't and sit up. That space is occupied by fans. And knives. And bugs and knives. And <laughs> bugs. Oh, there's so many bugs down there. Like I couldn't sleep by bugs. I it bother me. I have to put it out of my mind. I'm I'm glad that I fall asleep so quickly and so effortlessly. Like I don't think there's ever been a time other than like me being super stressed before like a test or like a job interview or something like that where I don't fall asleep in less than two minutes. Yeah. Huh. Like I I literally like if I'm reading or something like that. And I decide, okay, I feel like I could sleep. I'm going to put the book down, shut my light off, and lay down, and then I'm asleep. <clears throat> like, I literally fall asleep as soon as my head is. There are times down. where I can do that, but then there were times I'm, it's like two hours later, I'm like, well, fuck it. Yeah. I'll stay up all night. And then three hours from then, I'm like, well, why I do that? But, well, like, <laughs> yeah, I've had times I'm like, yeah. like, Melanie would be like, well, let's go to bed. <clears throat> and I'm like, all right. And I go and I lay down, I'm laying there, and I hear her snoring or whatever. I know she's asleep, and I'm just like, like just staring, like looking around. I'm like, I just don't. I've made a huge mistake. That's, that's <laughs> a thing. Like, whenever if I have like if I have a like a current girlfriend or just you know someone to stand, spend the night or something, my bedtime ritual is completely different in the sense that like I'll go to bed like five hours before I usually would have. You know, then I'm up in the morning. Like, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing? I uh, when I was young, <clears throat> fun. I mean, I lived out in the country, and I remember going to my room. When I had to go to bed. And I would always try to stay up as late as I could, fall asleep. One thing I would always do is I have a little nightlight. And my dad would always unplug all my shit. But I remember he'd open the door, he'd see me reading. And he'd always just close the door. He'd let me read pretty much as late as I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Which was always kind of cool. But I remember times when I didn't do that and I was trying to fall asleep. I'd, you know, I'd have to have my curtain closed in my room. Because I hate having a window open and seeing infinite blackness and not knowing if something is staring back at me. Yeah. I hate that feeling. So I would, right when I got in my room, I'd sprint across the room and shut the curtains. Yeah. And when I fall asleep, I'd fall asleep with a blanket over my face. And I would, because I remember one time, I don't know if I was watching, this, what I was watching, but there was some kind of alien fucking... Shane hates aliens. Dude, I used to do that stupid stuff all the time where like you'd watch like uh, like UFO sightings or like scariest places on earth 
or like something like that on like ABC Family. And you live on a country too. And yeah. like I had the only bedroom with two windows, one here, like in this corner, and one directly above my bed. <laughs> oh man. So like I'd always just be like, <clears throat> and like I'd be like looking around, looking at the windows. I like, was looking, afraid something somehow was already under my bed. <laughs> looking you know? above you at the window and then so, over like, to the right. I'd be in the middle of my bed, away from the edges, because I didn't want anything to, like, if my feet, like, draped over or something, just grab didn't want anything to ah! grab him and pull you under. And I remember in seventh grade when I saw the movie Signs, and you know that scene where he's in his bedroom, he's like, you know, when his daughter was like, there's a monster outside my bedroom, can I have a glass of water? And he goes in, there's that thing on the roof. Yeah, on the roof right yeah, outside, you see it. For a second, you see it. Yeah, and that was <laughs> very well done. I remember thinking... Oh, Shit. Yeah, <laughs> but I remember I would fall asleep with a blanket over my face, and I'd, and I'd lean against the wall and have like a little air hole for my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and I have all my stuffed animals on top of me, and I have a fucking knife like in between my mattress and my box ring. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember my dad like found it one time. He just beat my ass. He's yeah. like. Are you gonna shake me, boy? I'm like, it's not for you. <laughs> it's not for you. It's, it's for the aliens. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never got scared of like the dark or anything like that. But I, I, I never I really got scared even, of the dark. It was mostly just like dreams that I made too real with I've had scary my fears dreams, and yeah. stuff like that. My but, thing, go ahead. But I've never really like yeah. had to have a light on to fall asleep or anything. Like my thing that. was like if there's aliens or there's like a monster outside or a escape prisoner. I'm o- I, I don't I don't know. I've always thought like why would he come after me like. That's like, why I rationalize myself. I yeah. said, Shane, like, yeah, the ball is fucking give a huge. Shit about this little fat boy, you know? It's not like someone the, from the Washington County prison is going to escape, go seventeen miles out and find me, you know? Like, what's what's the chance of that happening? I remember hearing yeah. a story though. It was on like scariest place on earth, like his haunted house, or whatever. Yeah. But the story was that like some guy was like running from the police mm-hmm. and hid inside this house during the day when everyone was gone because he left yeah. the doors unlocked and he hid in the closet and waited. Till night when everyone went to sleep and they came out and killed everyone with an axe. The whole family. Yeah. And I remember being terrified. That, that. sucks. Like, that I was, sucks. like, so scared. And I was like, Dude, shit, I, I want to go to bed. I saw recently on Reddit, this guy, he just suspected that he was being watched, like, at night. He had no idea what was going on, but he just, like, he said he had this feeling like I'm being watched. Like, so is this the guy that... He that... set up all these nanny cams all around his house, and he found out that there was a woman... A homeless woman living in his attic. I saw and the she, video and, of that. And she would come down at night and like it was an look apartment complex, yeah. right? She was like in looking events. for food and shit. And one time he got up to go get like a drink, and she was like five feet away from him because she was like down moving around. Yeah. And she's like hiding behind something, being really quiet. And he's like doing something, and then she like slowly walks behind him and gets back in her hiding spot. It was so creepy. That's fucking. I mean, he could beat the fuck out of this woman, but. It was just scary that she was just there all the time. Fuck you know? yeah. yeah. Just yeah. imagine that being anybody or someone. Just, they just had a knife or something, you know? Just yeah. stabbed you in the back. Yeah. Um, you feel <clears throat> safe in your home. And just like, ah, I remember that. That's, that's, why, it. that's why we keep our doors locked. I don't know why I watched those shows as a kid. <laughs> before before going to bed, you know? Yeah. And because then, like, there's something that your parents, you know your parents wouldn't let you watch it before bed. So it was kind of like a, like, ha, I, yes. I, I want to watch this because... My parents are in bed, and they wouldn't let me watch this when I was awake. Maybe. I don't know. That, I, that's what's weird. Like, it's not... I didn't get scared watching it. I got scared afterwards yeah. when I was laying in bed. And it was the thing I was talking about earlier. There's this, like, slug alien fucking leech thing crawls up the walls of the fucking house. And it's on the ceiling. And it drops on your fucking face. Yeah. And I remember uh, thinking, like, I did not want that shit to happen in my face. <laughs> you, got your knife, you got your knife out and just your mouth... Was... <laughs> he drops in your mouth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> stabbing stab your face. Stabbing your face. <laughs> stabbing your neck trying to kill yeah, yourself. I was so conscious because I'd be sideways <laughs> like this. Yeah, I would be like this. You have a fear of things dropping like onto your face and your mouth and stuff like while you're asleep? Well, like when I was young, now I'd, you know. Okay. Now I just dropped my face. Oh, my face. I was just trying to like... I see now why you jammed your face into the side of your bed in the wall. Yeah. Because I didn't really understand it before. He's yeah. Because I always had the cocoon. fear. I was hiding, yeah. I was okay. a cocoon. Like, you should have that at But I wasn't like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because they crawl in the cracks. Calvin, I was like, here's the so wall. So he's in like a field and position. I, and I was like this. Here's the okay. wall. I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> would, it, would it have worked better if you, if you had just enough of a space downward? That you could have like looked, drilled a fucking hole in my uh, like mattress. You, like you, you had enough of like space, a massage table, like, yes, <laughs> like space between the bed and the wall where you could have yourself pushed against the wall, but you're getting your air from below rather than above. Yeah, 
I, I mean, I just remember always feeling kind of hot and claustrophobic. Yeah, I would have been. By the way, my dad, because my dad and I had talked about it, he said, I came here every night, I just ripped the covers off it because I wasn't sure if you were dead. <laughs> Tell <laughs> him what your dad used to do. <laughs> what he used to do was on his makeup. Oh, when, yeah. when you were sleeping. Oh, oh you talking about when he wake me up from school? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so he started no, with, like, the, the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when I started, like, just getting real bad insomnia when I was younger, and I couldn't fall asleep like, five, and I'd wake up from fucking school at, like, seven, my, I, I, my alarm would just be going off. I wouldn't hear it. Like, er, er, right in my ear. And I wake up, just coughing. My dad would be sitting there, staring at me, just blowing smoke in my face. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> blowing smoke in my face. Yeah. Oh. He'd be like, get up. And i put the cover. Like, I, And I also remember, like, times when I've had the cover over over my head. He just, like, <laughs> blows smoke in there. Underneath the blanket. Yeah. Just waking him up. A smokehouse. Like, he just sitting there, and sometimes I, I remember thinking, I'm going to die. Like, waking up, I thought he was just going to kill me. Because he's just sitting there staring at me, like, with just the utmost regret on his face. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> and he just Jeez. blowing smoke, his eyes are all bloodshot, because the alarm woke him up at, from his room, across the hallway, and his door was closed. But it didn't wake me up right next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man. didn't you say at one point, I can't remember what the story was, but he would, like, come in, and you act like you were asleep. Oh my gosh, yeah. And he would like, he'd come in at night, and I'd sense him coming in, I'd be half asleep or fully awake, and I would just pretend like I was asleep, and he would just stand there in my bed for a couple minutes, just breathing really hard through his nostrils, and we're thinking, oh god, I'm gonna die, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, think, I'm just gonna kill this boy, it's, this is it. And of course he never did, I'm still here, and I have children, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he thought about it a few times. But yeah, he'd be smoking, and he'd just be... Smoke out of my fucking room, blowing it right on me. And I don't know if he was trying to check to see if I was asleep. Yeah, but I remember like trying to cough. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, when and here's the, this is nothing to do with it. Would you cough when you're asleep though? Wouldn't you? Like if, if I was asleep, if he woke me up like that, I would if it got bad enough. Uh, but if I was pretending to be asleep, I can control it because I anticipated it. Um, my my buddy, like my, my best friend growing up, uh, and I did this with a couple of them, but one guy in particular, I, I met him. I met. Eric through him, his name is Zach, and we would talk all night on the phone like little girls. Like we talk for four hours on the phone. Like we hang out all day, and we he'd go home, and we would talk to each other, and we would talk to each other until we fell asleep. Yeah, on the night. phone, you yeah. know. And I met, most oh, people probably did that with no. their girlfriends. Yeah, but I did that with yeah. him. Um, and you know, I'm not ashamed. Whatever. I didn't have I got some info for people. It's all good. But I remember my because my dad that was the thing. He said, "Get off the phone if it was too late at night." So do you remember when you're young? You're like, okay. If I hang up, don't call me back. It's because someone walked... You know what I mean? You're not supposed to be on the phone. If I hang up, don't call me back. Yeah. Well, I remember my dad... That my dad would do this. Okay. Him and I'd be talking. It'd be like... I'd sneak the portable phone in my room. Yeah. And I, I remember like my dad go, Lena, where's the portable phone? And he'd like, stomp it, looking for it. Like, <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh shit, he's coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's coming back. Yeah. Like, I gotta go. And it sucks because it's a false alarm and you can't call him back. He can't call you back. Yeah. That's why it's a... It's it's a man's game right yeah. there, but m m what my dad would do was we'd be talking on the phone and my dad would just pick up the phone and not say anything, <laughs> <laughs> and he would be breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you guys don't say anything. Yeah, yeah dude, we don't say anything. Well, there's no dial tone or anything. He just knows it's there. <laughs> 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 That's the thing. That's the thing. But he would wait, and sometimes we out wait his ass. Yeah. But in the beginning, you know, we'd be like, okay, I think the shane is clear. I think the, I think the, toast, the, the coast is clear. Shane, get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, sometimes I'd be like, Dad, hello? And he just... Just breathing. I'd be like, Zach, I gotta go. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he would just hang up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, you know, it just... I mean, it's just the scariest fucking thing. My dad would just pick up the phone and he'd be breathing heavily. <laughs> Not saying anything. And people are really scared of the stories of your father. It's really funny to hear. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a trial. Yeah. I remember having conversations on the phone late at night, and, like, I'd just be so tired that I would lay down and balance the cordless phone on my head. Yeah. On the side of your head. You know? Yeah. That way, like, I didn't have to hold another, and I'd just be sitting there just, like, talking. Were you and Rick talking or whatever? No, it was, I think it was me and Melanie. Okay. Was, I, 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 didn't really, I don't think I really talked to Rick on the phone very often. It was usually like, you know, it was weird because when hey, I was talking to Rick, phone, okay. he always said, I've never talked on the phone this long. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> yeah, we, we usually would hang out together, but we wouldn't talk on the phone. Yeah. But uh, 
It it had been with one of my girlfriends or something. I think Melanie. But uh, that's so many of them. But I'd just be talking, and it, sometimes I think it got to the point where like, like there's no way we both fell asleep at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like. I feel like one of us fell asleep and the other one wasn't sure, but then it was like, should we hang up? Should I not hang up? Hello? And then they just fell asleep too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how often, how, how likely is it that they both, both of us fell asleep at the same time? Because I remember being on the phone, like, while we were asleep. <laughs> and then waking up and being like, hello? And there's no dial tone. You're like, wait. All right. Um, bye. <laughs> and, like, hang up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember that happening. So I, It only happened a couple of times where we'd actually, he'd fall asleep before me or I'd fall asleep before him. It happened a couple times with a girl, but it, it was rare because you should be like, all right, I'm gonna fall asleep. But bye. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was that was something right there. Anyway, some stories about Eric not being able to wake up. Oh, well, you guys talking about being on the phone for so long? I mean, Shane, you know this. Like, I'll hit my limit because I'm. You can def- have a limit. Yeah. Younger. I, I I know, but I'm I'm definitely one year now. Or I've always been now. Yeah. Wait a minute. Here. But I mean now, like I get to, I just sometimes I just get. So- <laughs> With you saying now, for some reason yeah. I picture that it was a ruse all this time, mm-hmm. but then being next to Calvin so much, and now is. you really are deaf in one ear. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, yelling. It would be the wrong ear, though. Did you know this, the joke we had with my buddy, with our buddy Jordan Stryker? Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. Calvin doesn't know it. Well, uh-huh. Eric is, like he said, he's deaf in one ear. And um, I told Jordan Stryker that, hey, I talked to Eric's mom, and Eric's not really deaf in one ear. Uh, he thinks he is. All right, it's and, a psychological thing. Yeah, and I told that my buddy Jordan, <laughs> and he believed my ass. So every time Eric, a situation would occur where Eric's, you know, he talked about just multiple him. times a day for me. Hey, yeah. can, I sit, can I sit over here because I'm deaf in this ear? Yeah. yeah, and it's funny. And, and eventually, I told Eric. You know, I told yeah, Eric. You told me almost. I don't know immediately. Like after like a week of doing it. Yeah. So Jordan, Eric would talk about being deaf, and Jordan would look at me, and give me this funny look across the room, like. You know, he gave me a look like, yeah, you know, yeah, we know, we know, we know, <laughs> and then eventually it was Jordan gave me this look like we know, and then I look at Eric and Eric could be like, yeah, we know, <laughs> <laughs> and that, that fool yeah. still thought that up until two three years ago. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. and this was like a ten years ago. But oh, like, uh, I'm surprised you didn't try to pull that on me. <laughs> should have. Should have. Yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, like on talk on the phone, like my, it just gets tired of using the same ear all the time like everybody else can just switch their ears I've never done that ever in my life that's one thing that's been denied me denied. is going from one, one ear think? to another I can't even think about holding the, the phone up to this ear it's, it's, it's like we're, right, this, I don't know if I've ever done this is this action I'm doing are you right left handed no I'm right handed oh yeah so why do you hold the phone up to your head with your left hand though because that's the ear that I can hear in. I know, but when you hold your phone up with your right hand, it looks natural when you do it. Like that? No, no not like that. Not, not your right hand, left ear. I mean, when you hold your phone in your left hand up to your left ear, it looks wrong. But when you hold your phone in your right hand up to your right ear, it looks right. Okay, I, Calvin. I don't, I don't know what's right. happening here. I, don't, I, I, I mean, the, the way you hold the phone is more natural I, can, I mean, than your I right can hand. switch hands, but I can't switch ears. I, I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, like, I would be on the phone with Shane for, like, an hour, and then, I, like, Shane would be in the middle of the room with Shane, and I got the phone right now. And he'd be like, okay. <laughs> well, but I know he hit his limit. Yeah, you know I have I mean? a limit. Yeah. But, uh, in terms of, but the, the cool thing about it is, like, when I go to sleep, I'll, like, usually start out on my back, you know, and do my, my relaxation thing. But when it's time to sleep, like, when I really feel, like, okay, sleep, I turn over on my stomach and then put my head to the right that way I sleep on my deaf ear, you know? I do this a lot, especially if there's, like, other people around, you know? You sleep on your good ear. Right? On, my, on my good ear. Yeah, yeah your good ear is down. Yeah. Well, you know, it just depends sometimes. As long as, like, I'm on my stomach and I have on one one side, I can kind of go to sleep both ways. But I always wake up regardless. Even if I can fall asleep on my back, I'll always wake up on my stomach sleeping on my good ear. So alarms never work. But yeah, well, there was recently whenever I had like your computer and my phone all in like this alarm blaring noise thing. Yeah, like I didn't hear it. Just womp, womp, womp. You won't believe the things that I can sleep through. Oh yeah, and that's what we're going to get into right now. I mean, I'll give you an example of some stories of Eric not being able to wake up very easily. Um, as you guys know and the listeners know, we lived together when I was in high school. And uh, we'd have these crazy ass parties. And... Um, and they, yeah, they would be like on weeknights, 
We weekdays during school nights. Yeah, and they last until like four or five a.m. Yeah, and just yeah, because I, I would go a couple of days out sleeping and just go to school, and I now I can't do that at all. Yeah, I can't do it anymore either. Really. You but can't, can't go to school. No, I mean I would just do go to school. <laughs> I'd go to basketball or yeah, track. I'd be fine. Whole day. Yeah, and I'd be fine, which is just crazy to think about. Well, we had this party one time, and we're rewinding a little bit. We used to go on a roof and tan naked mm-hmm. in the daytime, multiple yeah. men facing traffic. Okay, and there's this one guy, Mike Foltz. You know, we talked about in the last podcast. Two podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Foltz. Fat Foltz. Yeah. Remember, I said he fled in my room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he stuck his he stuck his foot through the roof. Okay. He got up on the roof and the roof couldn't take it. Yeah. And his his foot went through the roof to our like little back back patio thing, I guess we had. So the water thing. drained through and then it Well, no, okay. So there was this big hole there, right? And then over the course of I don't know how many months, a couple weeks. No, not months because it yeah, I guess it was a few I would months. say months like it would rain and then the rain would go through the fat folds hole into this little like, uh, is that what you all called it? Yeah, the fat's full into hole. this balcony, and then it would soak into the balcony's wood, the floor of that, and my f- room was directly under that. And we had this big party one night, and yeah. then we had this huge thunderstorm. Yes. And then I remember Jared Stetson waking me up and going, dude, wake up, man. Eric is, Eric's room is fucking flooding. Because my room was the only thing, only bathroom in the whole house because mm-hmm. we had uh, cherry bombed the bathroom upstairs and it hey. exploded. Yeah, yeah, we did. And the, the yeah. toilet exploded? Yeah, so <sighs> everybody had to come and use my bathroom. Uh, so, like, periodically throughout the night, I would just get, like, drunk or weird people that I don't know, like, just come into my room. Like, and I just get, you know, and then, <laughs> and then just use the bathroom. But, well, yeah, so Stetson came to use the bathroom. And, and I remember. Up. Okay, looking up in Eric's room, and not like a faucet, not like a bathtub spigot, like a waterfall, like yeah. a like a creek, like a fire hose, like a creek waterfall, like a heavy rain waterfall creek coming out of the yeah. ceiling. It was like fif- onto Eric's computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It was like fifteen water like water hoses. Yeah. It's like a heavy together. rain. Yeah, it was like, like this big. It yeah. it, it was creating. A fucking pond on the floor. So my, the way my computer was, I had an L desk, and then I had my bed. Was it raining right then? It was raining that day. Yeah, yeah like, a little bit more, but it was huge that, yeah. the night before. It rained okay. all that night, and then well, what happened was is all that water was collecting in the wood, and it just gave out. So it, all this water is just draining out, and it's raining from the fat folds hole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's going onto my computer. I am sleeping, not three feet away. My feet, which are covered by a blanket, are soaked with water. <laughs> I didn't wake up. And it's funny because Eric, I remember sitting with Jared and just being, a jaw was dropped. And Eric just wakes up, looks at it hopelessly, like, oh shit, this is raining on his fucking computer. His yeah. This tower, is, this is everything. terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like feeling this despair. Because we have all these videos and shit on there. Yeah. Okay, from, you know, our lightsaber fights. And I remember I... I can't remember that far back, but I go out of the room, come back in, Eric's not there. That motherfucker just leaves the room and goes to sleep in the living room. <laughs> so tired. He wakes up and says, fuck it. <laughs> and he just goes in the living room. He goes and sleeps in another room. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I, cause I remember Eric would fall asleep kind of earlier, lots of times back then. He'd start out on the couch, and this happened 100% of the time. Okay, we had a coffee... We'd have parties, and I would fall asleep on the couch, and girls like lay on me like sit on me because I'm on the couch you know yeah mm-hmm. I'd just be asleep yeah <laughs> well we had a coffee table this square coffee table okay yeah. right up against the couch like six inches away so that you can put your feet up and stuff on it yeah okay yeah, the gargoyle we stole from him yeah the gargoyle wow I can't even barely remember that yeah but Eric eventually would always wake up roll off the couch onto the coffee table and there's you know because there's I dispute that I wake up because I would fall asleep on the couch and wake up on the floor Okay, well, he, what would happen is he would just roll, and it would shove the coffee table away. Yeah, and, and he, he would, would fall, fall down s- between. He'd fall down in between. And the blankets would be wrapped around like a fucking taco. Okay, <laughs> and he would just lay there with his feet sticking out. And he would, and he would just, it happened all the time. Yeah. Like, we'll be in another room, we'll hear like a big slam. 
Hey, we look at each other. Oh, just Eric. It's weird. Like when I was a kid, like I used to love to sleep on the floor. Like no blanket, no pillow, just fucking sleeping on the floor like some. Because watching, you watching movies with, yeah, your, yeah. with your parents, you know, and you're kind of like, like so much so that like sometimes I'd be on a couch and like my back hurt because it's too comfy. <laughs> I just, right? You'd be like, like I just comfy. roll off to him, like ah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I know it's weird. You like Edmund Don Tesh from? Ca- I think he's like Edmund Don Tesh from the Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. He has to sleep on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, and here's another thing. Um, there's a couple stories, actually. Eric had a problem getting to work, and, you know, mm-hmm. we didn't help the situation. Yeah, I we worked were, at, I, at that time I worked at IGA. And he was, was going to college. Grocery store. Most of us, like, I had most of the classes I needed to graduate, because I did, a, thank God I did so well my first three years, and did terrible my senior year. Yeah. But, uh, so we didn't even fucking need to go to class most of the time. Um, well, we keep Eric up all night. And he would say, guys, you have to make sure I, I have wake to be up. at work like at 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you have to wake me up before you leave for school. And this is like, we're talking like like 6.30 a.m. Well, sometimes you have to be working like 8.30, didn't you? Or yeah, nine? sometimes. You have to make sure I'm awake. And he's Shane, you have to make sure I'm awake. I'm like, okay, Eric. Because I'm a different person when I'm waking up. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like an ass like I'm sometimes. I'm a mean asshole. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm up. Shut up. I'm up, motherfucker. I'm up. What? Yeah. I remember like being at Ohio Con and stuff. We were, like, we were all sleeping in the same bed. Yeah. And like you'd be so loud, like yeah. snoring and stuff. And yeah. I'm like, I can't, I can't sleep. She's like, I can't either. And like he would like roll over and like slap your leg like that. Like just yeah. real hard. Like, oh, was, like, and then he'd roll over and fake like he was asleep. And I'd just be like, okay. And I'd just fake like I was asleep too. And you'd get up and stare at us and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then like, it was, and then Eric's like, and I'm thinking, I'm, not, and I'm thinking, Shane, you've been trained for this. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember, like, you just stare, like, I don't want to say anything. I, like, it's yeah. like, dude, I, I want to say more, but I don't want to say more. And you just, you just lay back down. Well, like, and then guys, you start snoring again. And I'd slap like, him in immediately. The, yeah. I'd slap him in the face hard. Oh. And you guys tell me all these things that I do, and then I get up and like, what? You know, but I never remember them because I'm I do not believe I'm awake. I'm not conscious. Yeah. The person you're speaking to doesn't exist. <laughs> well, I don't he remember. He does that, in your mind. Whoever that person is, you would be like, what? Shane. Yeah. I know you're awake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> and then you would just lay down and start snoring at me. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and, you know, I know the listeners can't see what I'm doing, but I'm at, okay. But Calvin, uh, I would slap him in the face. Okay, and and this is one of those instances where I, we'd all be awake, and I'd be like, Eric, you are snoring. He'd be like, okay. He'd look at me, and he would start to fall, he would start to lay backwards. And, he and would, his eyes would still his, be open and looking at you. His eyes would be open looking at me, and he would start snoring. Before he for, at least, for at least a whole second. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. and before his head hit the bed. And my eyes closed. And bef- yeah, and his head would hit the bed, and his eyes would close. But he starts snoring. Before his eyes closed. Mid decline. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I remember. Yeah. He'd be, like, he'd be like. He'd be like. Uh. <laughs> Something like that. Because I'm still asleep. I know. We just started laughing. I just have the illusion that I'm awake, but I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh. The well, illusion. anyways, Eric needed to be up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So me and my dude Cody, we thought we could get this motherfucker up. All right. So we go. Eric, wake up! Hey, wake up, motherfucker! And, uh, me being that person that I'm, I'm not. I'm not would be like when you're conscious. Yeah, and then you just say, I, I'd be, "I'm up, I'm up, guys, I'm up." And you know you're thinking in your head. I'm, I'm really like laying there, like, "I'm up, guys, yeah. I'm up." He's still dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just immediately starts. Well, you dreaming. know it's funny because you know when this happens, you're thinking, "I'm going to sleep longer," despite him. You yeah. know what I mean? Because in your head, that's what you're thinking. Yeah. Well, I remember, and okay, and then we came home the night. Well, school. they had to go, they had to go to school. Yeah. Okay. So well, the, well, it didn't have the first day. The first time it didn't work. He was late for work still. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the second day, what we did, he was sleeping on the couch in the living room, which has a bunch of windows. Okay. And this is the dead of winter, too. Dead of fucking winter, Did like it? ten degrees. <laughs> okay. okay. So I said, Eric, wake up. So I ripped the fucking blanket off him. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ripped the blanket off him, and Cody opens up the windows that the couch is against the wall. And the wall the has two windows. Him. When two windows right behind them. Yeah. Okay. We open up both of those fucking windows, and we put a box fan right fucking there, like, like in the window, in the corner on window. Him. Heat, yeah, like blowing on his fucking face with no blanket. <laughs> okay, I remember me opening up the door, and like 
opening, doing an opening and like closing the like door. Like fanning the, the door. Fan. Like, hey, wake up! Like, I'm awake! I'm awake! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't leave the fucking door open. Okay. And we get home about 3.45 or 4. I come home. And I'm thinking someone broke in our house. And I walk in, door still open. He's on the couch, curled up into a ball, face blue. <laughs> still sleeping? sleeping? Still sleeping, <laughs> clinging on to sleep. Despite <laughs> how uncomfortable he looks. To spite me. <laughs> Fan blowing right on him. Still fucking laying there for eight hours. I'm like, Eric! You missed work! I'm like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd walk into work. I can't believe I lasted there that long. I'd walk you into walk in... work like five hours late. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What a terrible person I was. Your uncle's a nice guy, apparently. Yeah. For a while. For, for not firing For a him. while. Because <laughs> he's like, you know, sh- can I can fire you. Or, or he said, you can he quit. Like, look, I can fire you or you can you can leave. I'm like, I'll leave. Or he said, you can resign or resign, retire. retire. Yeah. He said something funny. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a funny guy. Yeah. He's a really nice guy. I, mean, I would just, those were like our college years back then, you know? So like, did, he wait, just did, didn't have any responsibility. Did you leave there working for your uncle and then go work for your uncle? <laughs> your no. other uncle? <laughs> no, um, I worked uh, IGA. And then I, uh, I think I went to Papa John's for like two years. Yeah, oh. you're Papa John's. Oh, yeah. that's right. Papa John, Papa Eric's, and then Doughboys. Papa Eric's. Yeah, Papa Eric's. Well, it was around that time that I had, after I, like, got fired or left IGA, that I left the grocery house and kind of stopped doing that shit. So you, you know? could sleep. So I, yeah, so I could, <laughs> I could sleep and I could be responsible and make some money and then all that good stuff. And be an know? adult. Yeah, I, I tell you, the worst that it, it had I had ever gotten it was like sleeping and not waking up was uh, when Shane lived in Colonial Terrace, which is like a hundred yards from here, right? Yeah, yeah, from my house. But Shane was living there, and it was pretty close to uh, the community college, uh, Washington State. It's our university area. Yeah, so I would like I would like spend the night at Shane's house, and then go to school the next morning. So I would have to drive a half hour from Whipple. Mm-hmm. So I'm sleeping on the couch. I think it's one of those nights where I ended up on the floor. I wake up on the floor, right? It wasn't. Uh, yeah, the same couch he was on when he vomited on my door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of us. So was there, anyway, right? in the morning, like, I wake up. You guys were still asleep, I think. Yeah. I wake up and I just get you know I I just I I just got dressed. I didn't worry about taking a shower. You didn't get dressed. You are dressed. You just fucking leave. Yeah. No, I, I think I have, like I think I slept like in my underwear and a shirt. Yeah. I just put my jeans on and left, right? And I got in my car. I drive over to the Washington State. And then for, just for some reason, I'm not really sure why, but before I got out of my car, when I, once I parked, I just happened to look at the rear view mirror. And my face is covered in blood. Like, from, from fucking my forehead to my chin, right? I just have streaks of blood mm-hmm. and scratches all over my fucking face. Like, if I hadn't done that, I just would have walked into Washington State, like, hey, everybody, how you doing, with this covered in blood, and I never would have known about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You so, would have, like, 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 called the state police, and like, yeah. oh my gosh, he just killed somebody. So, I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I take, I, I have, like, a, like an, I have to have a napkin or something, I don't know. Surprise. I have, like, a napkin, <laughs> and I'm, like, trying to wipe it off, and what the fuck? And I kind of, like, I, I kind of wait until there's no one, like, around, and I kind of sneak into a bathroom, you know, like, one of the public ones up there, and I'm looking at my face in the mirror. And I have, like, scratches all over my face. Like, like three or four scratches, like, in succession on my face. Shane's cat had mauled my face in the middle of the night. And I did not wake up. <laughs> yeah. Shit, dude. You're lucky you didn't, like, lose an eye or something. I think that I might have, like, rolled off the couch and onto the cat. And the cat's like, fuck you. The and cat! And, and my face. Tried to fuck and you I up. Just, and you were just I, like... I, I, I probably woke up. I probably woke up. I was like, what? I'm awake. What, kitty? What? <laughs> you imagine, like, hey, <laughs> it, But, I mean, I, I also imagine the cat just, like, on the floor. And the cat's, like, sitting on my chest. And just, like, taking one claw and going, like... Scratch, like kind of scratch, yeah. like a toony, like in yeah, and just like because I don't know, but I mean, I had scratches all over my fucking face, yeah. And that Jeez. was when I was dating my girlfriend too, who was working at Washington State, because I would like go like on her lunch, you know. Where were you last night? 
Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, I was like, I had to go home. So you're trying to make her jealous? You're like, oh, I can't remember. Yeah. Where were you? Hot chick. Hot hung out with some friends. What are you doing? But I mean, it was it was fucking crazy. So I I literally slept through a cat mauling my face. Wow. <laughs> so That's... I've never I I don't I feel like I'm a lighter sleeper. Like yeah. I'll hear like little footsteps from like yeah. my kids going up and down the steps, and I'll wake up and just be like, I'll just be waiting. Like, already awake, waiting for them to, like, walk yeah, by. Yeah, because you kind of freak out. Like, and you know in the morning when they wake up before you, and you just can't get back to sleep. Because you're thinking, well, they're just going to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they're going to go outside and get abducted. Like, I'm laying there like I'm going to fall asleep, but I'm just not. <laughs> so I've slept in front of my door before. Just, just to like, make sure they can't open it. <laughs> yeah. Without you being awake. <laughs> like, I'm a fucking troll. Yeah. <laughs> I, Melanie, though, she sleeps through everything. Like, I've had conversations with her, and she doesn't remember it. Yeah. Actually, there's... That's when you gotta ask. There's yourself. one time. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it, I, I feel I'm like telling you, you going. probably shouldn't tell this. <laughs> that was, it's just tell fine. Me. It's um, okay. There was one time when, like, I think I came out of the out of the bathroom, out of the shower, or whatever, and she was already laying in bed. I think I took a shower. I came out from the shower. She was laying in bed, and then like I was talking to her, and like she rolled over, and she she's like, "Well, get into bed," and she grabbed my dick, yeah, and but gave they, me a kiss. And then, like, and then, like, rolled over and, like, took off her underwear. I was like, all right. So, I, like, I grabbed a condom, whatever that is. That's what you messed up. And then, <laughs> and put it on and started having sex with her. Yeah. And, like, she was, like, reacting. She was there. To having sex. Sure. And the next morning, I was talking to her, I'm like, you know, about whatever, and she's like, huh? I'm like, when we, when we, had, when we had sex last night? She's like, When? I'm like when oh we, gosh. when we had sex last, last night, night. Like, you grabbed my dick, you grabbed my dick, kissed me on the lips, rolled over and took off your underwear. You yeah. know, like I don't know. <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> oh gosh. Right, what's fucking with you? She can, always, she can always bring that up. Right now she's talking to her friends on a podcast. Like one time I really got Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> like right? I just I'm, I I still I I don't know if I believe that she just slept it the whole thing because like yeah. There wasn't really, there, I guess there was like kind of moments when like she kind of was just there. Sure. And then there's other times when she, it seemed like she was more into it. Well, does she ever sleepwalk? I don't think she's ever sleptwalk. She could, uh, she could have, maybe it was like a sleepwalk. I, I, like I said, a, I've had conversations with like her. Like a sleep sex? Like she told me about a present one time that was like for my birthday. Like, and doesn't remember it. Yeah. Like we were just talking and she's like, well, I'm going to give you that for your birthday. I'm like, huh? And then like, it was while she was sleeping and she just doesn't remember it. I've, uh. Oh, what was it? I was getting up early to leave for work or something one time, and I was like, hey, the baby's in the high chair eating his Cheerios and has his milk, so he's there, and then Leon's downstairs watching TV or whatever, you know? Yeah. She's like, okay, and I'd leave and go to work, and then I'd come back after working and stuff. She said, why didn't you wake me up this morning? I'm like, I, I did. You talked to me and told me you'd go down in a minute or you were, you'd get dressed or whatever. Oh, gosh. You know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, what do I need to do? It's like, she, she's not as bad as, like, you, I don't think, but there's times that she's just, like... My dad, he would always say, like, I just... He talked to my brother and sister, same story. Shane, wake me in an hour. I'm like, okay. And, of course, I would just love for him just to sleep all day so I could <laughs> just eat whatever I want, hang out in the living room, my friends would come over, and he just wouldn't wake up. You know what I mean? I would usually legit try to wake him up, but not very hard, okay? But sometimes I really try to wake him up. And say, hey, Dad, wake up. Look at me. Wake up. He goes, I'm up. Shane, I'm up. I leave, and he just sleep until like 10 o'clock. And I start falling asleep, and he'd kick, like he'd kick me on the fucking couch. He'd go, you didn't wake me up. <laughs> I try, because I'm going to be awake all night. <laughs> so like, it kind of reminded me of that. Yeah. You know, speaking of like... With your story, Aaron, like, one time my brother convinced me that, like, for like, for like an hour that he was psychic, <laughs> because I, we used to actually, we shared a, we shared a bed and a bedroom for, I don't know, the first, like, six or seven years of my life, maybe, and then he ended up moving downstairs into the basement, but before that, like, one time he convinced me that he could, like, he could read my dreams, he knew what I was dreaming about. Because he came to me and was like, you were dreaming about being Shredder from Ninja Turtles last night, weren't you? I said, yeah. How <laughs> did you know that? He's like, I just know. And I kept badgering him. How do you know that? How do you know that? He's like, I'm psychic. 
you know? He likes to, he likes to play these kind of tricks. But eventually it came out that I was talking in my sleep and I kept going, Leonardo, Raphael, oh no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I was like screaming. He's like, he must be Shredder because he's fighting the turtles. Why would he not? Why would he be fighting the turtles? You know? Yeah. Um... I used to sleepwalk a lot too. Like my mom has told me this story. I don't remember it, of course, but she saw, she heard me get up, and she's looking out the front door, uh, not the front door. She's looking out the door from her bedroom, and from the the view there is like part of the hallway, and then into our kitchen where the fridge and then the bathroom are. Right, like the like it's like a very narrow spot. Yeah. She sees little me just in my underwear walking. I stop. I turn and look at her, and then I turn towards the bathroom, and then I turn towards the fridge. And in front of the fridge, we kept, like, cans of pop, like, in uh, in those things that kill turtles, you know? Yeah. I just, I just take my underwear off and just piss all over the pop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was sleepwalking. I had to piss, so I was trying to go to the bathroom, but I just wasn't awake. So I, I made it to outside the bathroom, but my mom said, like, you looked at me... Turned around and pissed all over the pot. <laughs> you should know? come over like, Eric, what are you doing? Eric, I'm like, what? 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 And then I realized what I'm doing and I start crying. I was pretty young, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. You just that, did your best. That makes me think of my... walking is really weird. My yeah. sister one time, I don't remember her ever doing like this ever before or after. Yeah. I remember this one instance, like, <laughs> she like came out of her bedroom and like just kind of stood in the living room for a second and me and my mom were like, Br- Brittany, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you okay? Brittany... She's like, I need to go to the bathroom. We're like, oh, okay. And then like, she like turned and walked in towards the, like the dining room and like pulled out one of the dining room chairs and sat on it and then just went <laughs> with her lips. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're like, huh? And then she got up and went back into her bedroom. <laughs> and that, that was it. I was like, what? And we told her about it. And she's like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Like, she didn't believe us. It was Whoa. so weird. <laughs> like, she didn't actually go to the bathroom. She just sat down, made a noise with her mouth, and then left. That is kind of crazy. I remember one time at the Ingleside apartment, like, it was after you had moved out, and my nephew was staying with me because he just wanted to play some video games and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. He didn't spend the night, and I just, I was sleeping, it was probably 4 a.m., and I just see this little person just walking back and forth in front of my doorway. My door is open, of course, you know? And there's a little bit of light out there, I just see this, like, really fast, like... Have you seen the you know visit? No. No. Oh, I, mean, I heard it was. It, it was. It legitimately good. like was kind of scary. You know. I woke up and get the fuck out of this little gnome or whatever coming out for me. You know, <laughs> gnome. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I, I, I look out there and he's just like when I when I peek my head out the door, he's like his back is towards me. You know. And he's just like standing there. He just turns around, and looks at me. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> he kind of wakes up. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I think you're sleepwalking, buddy." He's like, "Oh, okay. I'm sorry." I'm like, "Yeah, it's all right." It just like it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. I went back to bed, and he did it again. That's and this time, shit. he came into my room and just like stood beside my bed. And yeah. I didn't want to be like, "All right, you're fucking freaking me out. Get the hell out of here. Never come back. <laughs> yeah. I don't do that. Go home." I just was like, "Take you home." Right I was now. like, "They say never like wake up somebody unless they're gonna hurt themselves or something." So I had to like wait until he left. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he, just, so like, fucking he just sat. He just stood there like, like was not he like looking, looking at you no, or just not standing beside me, just you? Standing beside me for like you know like if I'm like laying on the bed, he's looking at the wall over here, you know. Oh, and he's geez. just like, you know. And I'm just, just like, sitting, I'm really just laying intense. here, like, I'm laying on the bed, like, you know, <laughs> they what, like, I, just what, what do I do? Not moving, looking around. And then around. eventually he just left, you know? And I just hear, like, you know, I'm like, like I'm fading like, footsteps. I'm like, he's never staying here again. <laughs> <laughs> he never did. He never did. The, oh, my gosh. The, I, with Colson, like, he'll come upstairs and stuff and just be like, Dad, Mom, Dad, and, like, want something. Yeah. But Leon, like, doesn't want to wake us up, I guess. Yeah. And there's been so many times, like, not so much to my, like, my side of the bed, I guess, but he'll come upstairs, and then, like, he would just stand next to Melanie's side of the bed, oh, just oh, staring man. at her. But not wake her up, just staring at her, just waiting yeah. for her to, like, wake up. And Melanie said that, like, she'd feel like, like, kind of like that, like, watching her kind of thing, and she'd yeah. start to wake up. And she gets scared easily anyway. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> and, like, she would, like, wake up. And, like, his face is just there staring at her. And she's like, ah! You know, like, freak <laughs> out. She's like, she almost punched him one time. Yeah. 
And she's like, you gotta start going to your dad. <laughs> like, she's like, you can't come to me. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little guy. I, I did want to talk about this. Uh, while Eric got on the subject of Washington State Community College, Eric, when you would drive your family's Explorer over there, what is one thing that I used to yeah. like to do a lot? I would drive my Explorer, and Shane happened to know the code. 5980 or some shit? Uh, n- they don't have any more, so it's all right. No, it's uh, it was five ten eighty. It was their how anim- it was their anniversary. Like that. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So I would just leave my key in my car. You know, yeah, sometimes you I'd have change. it in the ignition, sometimes I put it in the console, but I could just lock it and I can come back out. And then keyless entry. Yeah. Yeah. But Shane also knew it, and Shane, me and him would have different times of classes. So, yeah. like, if I went to class and then he was coming out of class, he would see my car. But the way I should say it is like I would go to class, I come out, my car's not there. Sometimes my car is like two spaces away, right? And I don't even think about it. I just walk up to my car. I'm like, oh, there it is. You know, I walk up to it. And then I'd be like, wait a minute. I think I, I might have parked over there. Like, nah, you know. <laughs> and it started happening a lot, you know. And then it started going farther away. And I realized that Shane would see my car and just move it. Sometimes it's a fuck with me, like two spaces. And then sometimes he would move it to the other side of the parking lot, like the distant satellite parking lot you know wait like the gravel parking lot the gravel high parking lot so I would would come out and my car's gone there's no notes there's no like (laughs) message on my phone like (laughs) joke I think my car's stolen or something and I'd look I'd be looking around and I'd have to to wait for all the other cars to like (laughs) you know it's at the end of the day and all the cars are gone I can see all the way like son of a bitch like a half a mile away like one lonely car hey there it is Shane has started like getting in my car well cause sometimes I remember I'd be almost late for class Looking for a spot to yeah. move someone else's think, vehicle into. Think, <laughs> Eric's. <laughs> like, he'd, like, pull up, pull my... I'd have a good parking spot. He'd get out of that, get... He'd, he'd, he'd go to the far end, and then put his car in the good parking spot. <laughs> so I come out, and his bitch. car was my, where my car was. I'm like, son of a bitch, I'm about to walk around this whole fucking thing. Just to find it. Uh, it was funny, though. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I, I used to, and I remember like I remember like sometimes waiting for you to fucking get out so I could watch, but it just yeah. I remember that it never you never came out in time. Yeah, cause I always had to go. Well, I, I was in video classes. We just like hang out there. I love to see my work because I remember one time I left astronomy like two and a half hours early to make a bunch of snowballs and throw them at Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I hid in the fucking dumpster forever, but he was like he was in his he was in a computer lab and he was there forever. Well, I don't think anything beats the pin at the computer lab story. Oh, my God. When it comes to Washington State. Now, Calvin, I know you don't know this story. Rick and I had a little game. (coughs) A very mutual game. Shane had a game. It's a very mutual game that we made up. Okay. (laughs) We joke about it still. You know, he writes me letters about it. Well, uh, he had a pen that I would always steal it. It's this very long... uh, No... I don't think he he didn't have a pen, right? Wasn't there just a pen for signing in initially? There was a computer lab pen for signing in. Yeah, but it was there. a specific. Eventually, they got like a like Rob, his boss, brought in one. That was because of you, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but, Shane would take the pen yeah. like every day. Initially, like whenever you came into the computer lab, yeah. there was like a little thing where you had to sign your name and what time it was, and then yeah. whenever you were done, you had to sign out what time you left. That way, if something weird happened on a computer, whatever, they could track who was in the computer lab at what times and whatnot. Yeah. Right. So, Shane, though, being the little conniving guy that he is, would sign his name, whatever, and get talking and chatting up Rick or whatever it was, and then just sneak away with a pen. Yeah, he would just, like, do misdirection, take the pen, and then he'd just... And I got really around. damn good yeah. at it, too. And then, like... Because, you know, Rick was always watching for it. Well, it, not initially, but he started to have to, like, yeah, I so know Shane's I, taking the pen. I had to keep up in my game. So, like, then, like, whenever Shane come up, he'd be just watching for that pen, you know? And somehow Shane would still sneak, a, sneak the fuck away with it. Like a magician. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I did yeah. it. I don't he think I got his hand over before he left and his pen's gone. You know? Yeah. Well, and, and then you leave and rip it. Damn! And then, <laughs> it, it, it'd be like he'd sign and set it down and then go over here and start talking to Rick and make him forget about it and then just leave and I'd stay in there an extra two hours and miss my class just to steal <laughs> that damn pen. Yeah. yeah. So then they started doing something different. Well, they started tying like a fucking rope to that motherfucker. <laughs> Okay. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like a big pin? It was a big ass pin with a with a long s- string like yeah. attached to it. Yeah. So I'd be sitting there talking to him, untying this motherfucker. <laughs> and eventually, he, he, and then, and then I, he, he takes it right. And then I had to tie a note to it, like got, like got you ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> so then Eric and, and then Rick would text me, "You son of a bitch." You know what I mean? Wouldn't you cut it? 
Well, like, well, one time I cut it because I couldn't get untied. I got desperate. So you just cut scissors and just cut it off. <laughs> well, because I felt, I, felt, I felt that was dirty. Yeah, I mean, because anyone could just cut it. You know yeah, what I mean? so funny, though. But uh, anyways, and then, you know, eventually he got, he got so damn good at watching me. I'd have to, like, okay, Calvin, you know where the computer room is, how, like, uh, there's all these windows on the outside, so you can see who's walking down the hallway coming into the computer lab. Yeah. Well, I would just start out like where the water fountain was and crawl like fucking bear crawl <laughs> like it's like like, like going 30 under, feet right yeah it's like, a long way like, crawl. Yeah. more than 30 feet because you need you gotta, you gotta go into the computer lab well basically so he would yeah he, he would crawl in and like I would crawl like down the hallway so he wouldn't see me crawl into the computer lab reach up Okay. So that Rick I'm, doesn't see him actually in the lab. And I think this is when I cut it, actually, because I'm like, I came so yeah. close, I can't, I can't just, you know I mean, mess it up. <laughs> because Rick got up all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I cut it and crawled out. Like, very stealthily, like, making sure no one's, like, looking at him, you know? Oh, and there's, like, ten people in the lab, like, yeah, know, like, kind of, what the hell is this guy well, Rick has no idea, you <laughs> know? You so figure someone would be like, are yeah. you okay or something, you know? Yeah. Didn't you also have, like... I well, feel like you you use people sometimes too to be like, hey, can you just talk to him or tell him you need this or that? Yeah, one time I used Matt Robinson. Like, I remember fucking Matt Robinson. I remember yeah, him. I remember him. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I got him to distract Rick one time, and it's funny because I remember Rick would I, I he would always go, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was he's, he's up, he tightened up. Yeah, it's so funny. He, he still does that. It's like, anyways, it's like a Seinfeld no- moment of like, no. <laughs> one time I was in a computer lab. Rob was like, hey, come here, I'm gonna show you something. I'm like, hey, what's up? He brought me to the computer and he showed footage of me crawling, <laughs> black and white ass footage of me crawling in, stealing a pen. He's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you know, I was just playing a joke. He's like, well, if you do that again, I'm going to call secure in your ass for, for, I can't remember what he said. I just, I can't imagine. He was real for serious like college about theft or something like that? Yeah, like, for yeah. theft or some shit. I'm yeah. like, okay. I just can't imagine you sitting there. And him, like, starting to play it, and you realizing what you're looking at. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God. Looking at you. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm, like, you know, 22, probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? How did he, how did he find oh it? Oh, my God. I don't know. You know what I mean? Well, then what happened was, they're like, that pen is gone. Because I guess Rick kept getting in trouble. Yeah, Rick kept getting in trouble for losing the pen. Like, you can't let your friend steal that pen. But, like, Rick, the way, honestly, the way Rick did it, it. I worked there for a little bit, too, and I don't think you would steal it when I was there. You'd wait for Rick to be there. To steal it. <laughs> yeah. And you might... like. I think you talked to me about it before and like that too, but you wouldn't yeah. do it when I was there. Oh my gosh. Well, it, it just... And honestly, the way Rick did it, it was like a game to him kind of too. You know what I mean? But Rob didn't see it that way, I guess. And... and keep buying pins. <laughs> well, because the one... The big one I stole, I'd always give it back. You know what I mean? The white whale. This big ass long pen. Yeah. I remember the first time I did it, like Rick... Catch and release so you can catch again. Yeah. Rick, he would... He, he got paper clips and clipped them all together and went around the pen but the, the reason and then I un, you know and then he did that I steal the pen and then he did the string I'd untie it and then he wove the string through the pen <laughs> that's why I had to cut it yeah uh, you know and then he you know just staring at this footage of me crawling on the floor <laughs> looking like a fucking idiot I yeah look, like for, a, the, for the camera <laughs> looking like a fucking fool <laughs> he's like so let me ask you what you're doing here <laughs> you know what I mean and I'm just like oh. Robert was a cool guy though yeah. like, he was I really cool. like Robert I used to play D&D with him and yeah, we yeah, talked a lot too. afterwards we joked about it he just you well. know <laughs> he yeah. was a funny guy but yeah. you know I can I can imagine eventually he's just like you can't do this anymore you know what I mean like yeah it's done you, yeah, you won joke, joke is over <laughs> like you won whatever yeah. I forgot about that pen story <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I it's like, so damn traumatizing watching my oh gosh I feel like I would have taken like the paper clips and like the string and woven them like interlaced with each other yeah and then into that that way you couldn't have cut through without cutting the paper they clips they tried I mean I, it, it, I literally stole that thing a couple dozen times they tried all kinds of ways yeah, I, mean, I feel like it's Rick like he's like because he was always on this computer and stuff, you know? And, like, sometimes he's, like, calling and helping people. But when, whenever there was no one needing help and there was nothing to do, you were just there, just in a computer lab. Yeah, he'd so sit he, like, there and play surf, games all day. he just surf the internet or do whatever. So, like, I just picture him be like, how does stop pens from being stolen or something? How do the banks do it? How do the banks do it? But it, it, was a, it was a fun time. And, you know, going back to the snowball story, my, one of my favorite snowball stories of Rick, and I have multiple ones. One time, Calvin, we were in Columbus at a convention. I remember that. Not sure. 
What? Not true. Not true. Eric will, vow, will verify it. It is true because uh, we were... It was... We, okay. it, it was a miraculous. Right, no, it was true. And you know it's, why it's, I had the best I had the best view of it? It is because true. Because that was the time where they were doing construction on the main hallway. Yes, it was. And we had to go in this huge detour, like, yep. up and down these steps... And I fell behind. Yeah. Yeah. I fell behind because I was you fat. Did. And I was out of shape. Okay. And I couldn't keep up. I'll and say I, when, when, I, when I showed up, I saw Shane. I saw you guys. I saw the whole thing. It was all real. I would say it's... It, so, it's, what, Eric, you tell the story. It's then. not true in the fact that what Shane will tell it. It's true in the fact that Rick was stupid and ran straight. <laughs> he was zigzagging <laughs> back. He, was not. he wasn't doing nothing. Well, well, the, all the story is is that they were throwing <laughs> snowballs at each other. And Shane, he got, he fell really far behind, and Rick was running. Yeah, he was running in his... We were crouch running. You guys were we, crouch we went, running. He to be trying, fair... No, he you, wasn't crouch. He crouched when he saw the snowball. We were trying to run, and there was, like, these spiral stairs. Yes. And, like, we got down there, and we're, like... Duck in these snowballs. I was still in the middle of the stairs. He was yeah, in the you were still, of the stairs. I was waiting for them to, like... Macaulay and the Cal- way you had to run... I was like, Macaulay Culkin... Wait, bit, remember? Because there was scaffolding there. Yeah. At that point. So I was like Macaulay Culkin waiting for the fucking crooks to come yeah. to him with the paint can. Yeah. I was standing up there waiting for them. And Aaron, he's fucking smart. He he looks, he's like, he looks like a fool, but he's zigzagging. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he's doing uh-huh. like a, And if anyone would have saw him just zigzagging, they'd wonder what the hell is wrong with this man. Yeah. yeah. But he was smart. And Rick takes off in a dead sprint, the fastest I've ever seen the boy run. And I just hail Mary this snowball as hard as I could. It was like an elf when he throws that one snowball really yeah. far. Yeah. Oh, and he gets that one guy that's like, ah! <laughs> It yeah, was I mean, like that. He was... And Rick was like, because <laughs> it hits him in the back of the neck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it did. He gets like, you know, underneath it's the coat. White, it's underneath white, the coat. White. He falls down, you know. And He's like, ah! <laughs> and we're just, like, I was like, gonna roll down the rest of the spiral staircase. It was so we funny. We were funny. laughing, man. Yeah. It was... <laughs> I remember like looking behind and seeing you throw it, and I'm watching it, and it goes over me, and I'm just like, ah, oh, good. And I turn to look at Rick, who's looking back as well. I think wasn't yeah. he? I'm yeah. pretty sure he was looking back too. But I felt he like... looked back at the wrong second. He's like, ah. Did, did he look back at the last second then? Yeah. Because I look back and I feel like I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm not going forward anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like he either wasn't looking back or was looking back. I don't just think he was like, looking I don't, back. I don't care. And yeah, I'm just gonna I keep remember going. Sm- I, that, that, you know that kind of like slushy smack, like <laughs> yeah, you know, and just hit my head, and it, like the, the water like going down his back, ice cold. Like, uh-huh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I just remember like throwing it where I thought he was going to be and thinking there's no way I'm going to hit yeah. him. Yeah, because like it was probably you know I'm really high up in the air, so I mean, it's probably I probably throw it about 50 yards, yeah. and he was at the 30 yard mark. You know what I mean? And it just somehow connected. Yeah. If yeah. he had just stopped for like a second, it would have been fine. But yeah. He didn't. Dude, we have so many Ohio Con stories, but I don't know if we can tell them. <laughs> oh, we can't tell that one. Uh, that's the best one. All right, we'll tell uh, it. We had to tell it without any kind of qualifiers. Or... We're not going to use any names. No names. We, we'll change oh the names. God, okay, so we bad. had... John... I can't keep up on that. This Jim... Okay, yeah. And Jim. One of our good buddies, okay? Uh, he brought his, his girlfriend there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? And, you know... She was a short... And she was kind Nerdy. of like a fucking anime girl kind of thing. Like, whatever. if she tried, she could be really prettier, maybe. Yeah, except, you know, fix her teeth, but she's okay. You know, she's good looking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And she was, like, super, like... I'm, I'm not, I, I can find, like, a goth girl attractive, but not this kind. Yeah. You know? She's, like, one of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She was, like... Yeah. Anyway, so we had... A, a, me and Eric had another buddy who had, like, a fetish for these kind of... Girls? Small anime gothy girls. Yeah. Okay, and I don't want to say they're young, but, you know, she was, you know, younger. Well, and he, and him, and this buddy, and our other buddy that the girl you, was dating. You need to be like, buddy one, girl one, and buddy two. Okay, you know what buddy mean? one was dating this girl, and buddy girl. two was our buddy that kind of had a fetish for this thing. Mm-hmm. Well, buddy one and buddy two, uh, they were like friends, but they were also like enemies, okay? Like, like they have they, they have it, well, I don't, they have a history that's complicated. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. Yeah, it it's is. weird, complicated. But like, it's, if one of those things, like, hey, buddy two, I need you to help me do this, and buddy two would be there for buddy one. Yeah. But they wouldn't hang out. You know what I'm saying? Unless we were all hanging out, we made them hang out. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyways, buddy one is off doing other anime stuff with his other anime people. Yeah. And I remember me and, well, no, you were with us, were you? It was Reese. Was yeah. The first one to see it. Okay. 
Or was it me? Well, I mean, from what I remember, when we first got there, we were we were at Ohio Con. It's in Columbus. It's two hours away, so we had to stay at the hotel, right? Yeah. I remember when we first got there, it's me and Shane and our buddy Reese and another buddy's there. And, uh, you know, we, we, we realized that the first guy had brought his girlfriend and the second guy, I just f- instantly felt this weird energy, like a weird excitement from him, you know? Like, it was like an instant thing that I felt. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So well, I think it's like we all know, like, when you have a buddy yeah. who's, like, on the prowl when you're, like, yeah. off thinking, oh, shit. And you know what? You don't want to be like, dude, this is really a really bad idea because it's not your fucking business, you know? Yeah. But either way, so it ends up that our friend Reese is going back to our room, right? Like, as we had said to the buddy number two who had the weird excitement, like, hey, let's go out and go do something, you know? Let's go down to the, the floor and just look around or we can go play some games or something like that. He's like, no, no, I think I'm just going to stay here and play Wind Waker. Or play Zelda. Yeah. I mean, you're, I remember Shane being like, you're going to stay here. Yeah. You know? Because we all know. We knew what he was, what he was trying to do. He was trying to isolate himself so yeah. he could make the moves. Which, you know, we've all done. Okay. And he, fu- so he fucking stays there, and then Reese has to go back upstairs. And, and he, was it me and you or me and Jordan? Yeah, me and Jordan were walking to the hotel room. Because you weren't with yeah. us, right? We, I wasn't with yeah. you guys. Okay, we were walking to the hotel room. And we see Reese is five foot two ass sprinting on his down tiptoes. on his tiptoes. He's, he's got this ran. high knee kind of run. Yeah, and he's just taking his hands, waving, "Go, go, go!" And we're thinking, "What?" And we realize he's running, like, "Go!" So we turn around, start running. He catches up, and we're like, "Why are we running?" He's like, "Go! I'll tell you in a minute. Just yeah. go." <laughs> we get in the elevator, and he was like, "Dude, oh my god." I walk in the hotel room, and Buddy 2 is in bed with this girl, all right? With Buddy, Buddy one. One's girl, yeah. Yeah, and he's a lot bigger than her, and it looked like she's... She's, like, super short, and she's, he's like, like 4'11", he's, like, 6'2". Yeah. Okay, and his mouth was just consuming her, and they were banging. <laughs> yeah, you know? like he was eating her and face. He, yeah, and, like, he's, like, he's so much fucking taller than she is, and he's on top of her, you know? I don't know. You'd be like yeah. doing a crunch, you know what I mean? <laughs> because uh, of the length of from his mouth to his dick, that length of the torso. I don't know how he'd make like it half work. as far from hers. Yeah, I don't know how yeah, he'd yeah. make it work? anatomically work. But yeah. this guy's a magician, apparently. He was making it work, <laughs> or he has a t- twenty-inch cock. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it might be. You know, whatever. Well, and we just started busting out laughing because here's the thing: he went into the room. And he's like. Oh shit! And they didn't realize that he was there, so he tiptoes out, and he's walking out of the room, and then he hears the door slam. Oh, that's he's like, like oh shit! <laughs> Buddy One is the kind of guy that he's not like a he, he wasn't like a bad guy. Oh, I, I, like he, he could get weird. It could probably he he, he get angry too. He you was know? crazy. He he was was I love them. I love this man. Yeah. I'd kill for this man if I could get away with it. Yeah. Okay. But he, he's a little nuts. All right. Well, obviously. Yeah, and I remember we were just talking, and then we meet you well, in the fucking in, food court. Yeah. The food court, and we were talking about for like an hour and a half, dying. I, I don't know what it was about the story, but like, we were like... Oh shit, I need to rewind. Buddy 2, um, Buddy 1 wasn't able to come. Because he oh, got... Oh shit, that's right! Yeah, he got fired, he got kicked out. He lost his car. He lost his job. He lost all this shit, and he couldn't afford to go. <laughs> yeah. That's why Buddy 2 was excited, because so, cause Buddy 1 couldn't come. And Buddy 1's girlfriend still came. Yeah. yeah, so we were just laughing, because we were like, he lost his job, he lost his car, and Buddy 2 fucked his girlfriend. Yeah. And it's terrible to say, but we were just like... I don't know what came over us, like some kind of laugh. Demon yeah, because there's a, the funniness of the drama yeah. and the fact that these two people have a history. And that Reese caught him. And he they're in the cycle again. Yeah. Yeah. This crazy drama cycle. And like, oh my God. But why, why would Buddy the, 2 do that? The food court was like packed and we were just like, I, I, I like fell over and like <laughs> knocked a chair to the ground and was laughing so and hard. Buddy 2, like, because he just got <laughs> like a history of making these kind of bad decisions, yeah. relationships. 
girls. Yeah. And they're not like fucking tens, they're like fucking sixes. Yeah. And he's maybe. Cool. And he's doing this crazy shit. And I'm thinking, dude. Like Marietta sixes. It'd be different if they were like fucking tens, but they're like, you know, you're doing yeah. some crazy shit and you're portraying people. Yeah. To get these average girls. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I do you just remember the I remember the awkwardness of like when he like, he like came down, you know, he's done. And, but we played work. it off pretty well. Yeah, but I just remember being like well, we were all thinking... We, <laughs> have nothing to say. You usually had something to say. Had nothing, nothing to say. say. Well, we were all kind of thinking, you know, we got to tell, you know, Buddy, buddy, one. buddy one. Eventually, I, I don't know how... We got to remember, too, we lived with Buddy one at this point, too. We he, all yeah, lived together. We lived at the third year house. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I remember I'm on my... And com- Buddy two, who used to live there, no longer lived there. He lived out in a camper. He lived in a camper that him and I used to live in. He moved back out there. Yeah. Okay. Well, what happened was, and this is a couple weeks later. This is a couple weeks later. Well, I'm on the computer. At at night. I'm on the computer, and Buddy One has a room right next, you know, know, has a room right next to mine. He's on his computer all night playing Final Fantasy XI, listening to Maya, (laughs) Maya, over and over and over again. That was when this came out. No, it wasn't just came out, but it was and Avril really Lavigne. Funny, but he like thought it was really funny to play it twenty. Well, he kind of did it as like a joke. He did it as a joke, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was funny afterwards. Yeah. Well, I remember I'm on AOL and some Messenger, which back then that was like the golden Dude, thing. Aim, man, yeah. Aim was the shit. I, well, there's MSN. Would you would right. you spend a lot of time yeah, creating up your bio and everything? You yeah, know? I would like, always be really dramatic. <laughs> man, I had MSN first, and like then talk, yeah, it was really dramatic and everything. I remember. Well, um. I'm trying to secure my relationship with my future wife at the time because I, there's a lot of stress and drama going on with that. Why well, just hear Buddy One scream? Well, no, no, he, 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 mm. he messaged you. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. He said, he just said, is it true? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, Shane, don't lie to me. Is it true? I said, yes. And then I hear, and he's right, his room's right next to mine. I hear a. <laughs> like bloody murder, him hitting the wall. Okay. Just noise and racket. Like, I'm kind of downstairs and I heard. And Eric's like, oh. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And then um, I'm sleeping through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend I'm up. I'm up. Well, <laughs> okay. And then I come out of the room and 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 Buddy One is taking off this down the stairs already. He just starts running. Okay. And He's running. Yeah. For his for his van. Okay. His van. <laughs> okay. The Red Dragon. Oh and then gosh. and then we kind of and then like and we're running after him and my everyone else is downstairs like what the fuck's going on I'm like he knows he knows he knows we all knew about it he didn't know about it yeah oh my so gosh, so you're running down the stairs after him going he knows we knew he that knows. he was going after Buddy too and at this point he, this motherfucker and they, moved and they kill each other yeah and he and he was peeling out on Third Street in Marietta guys who are listening it's a kind of a busy street but it's yeah. late at night well he's peeling out in his in his red van. And we're just trying to stop him. And I remember we're like, I'm on top of this van. <laughs> yes. Like a movie, holding on. And he's whipping this thing, trying to... Try to him off. Try to flame me off this van. <laughs> All right? So I started punching him in the face with my left <laughs> hand. Window. And he is just taking it. <laughs> like, is that all you got? Is that all you got? <laughs> you know what I mean? And Ryan Shelby is punching him yeah. in the face. And he is just adrenaline pumping. And I'm not trying to kill the guy, you know what I mean? I'm like kind of punching him in the top of the head. Yeah. You know what I mean? And They're just trying to get his keys. They're yeah, and then fucking... Him. Somehow what happens is he gets the keys, like basically, and the thing's parked in the middle of the road over the yellow line. Yeah. And then Steve runs out. He gets the keys. Who? And we're thinking in our head, like, all right, he's right. fucked now. So we pull we pull uh, the van back into his parking spot, go back inside. We think like, well, the, you know, we, friend, friend number two lives like... 15 miles away. Yeah. He's no way he's going to... He can't get there without a vehicle. He's not going to walk there. Yeah. yeah. So what happens in is... In this inconsolable rage where he was... Yeah. So he you gets, didn't think he would just go there. <laughs> yeah, he gets out there. Uh, well, I mean, we go back inside and we hear the the van start up. Like, what the fuck? Well, he had a spare set of keys. Yeah. We he, go he, in he his... He doubled room. around, God's keys came back, we came outside, and he just... Ah! And it's taking off. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay, and here's the thing about this guy, who, uh, who I love very much. He's, he's a little listening. crazy. Like, we, we perpetuate his craziness by making it a joke. Yeah. Like, we would say this thing, like... Like, he's intentionally crazy and rabid to be funny. Yeah. 
So we but would, the thing is, is that he would do it, we would laugh, and then he would just do it more, and we would laugh, and then he just would become it. Yeah. So he would, we like, we enforced him to become the person he is not. Thus then he, he swore is. to destroy. Yeah. So <laughs> thus he is this person. He's just a crazy okay. animal. And like, you know, so we would, we would have, I'm not going to say it here, but we have this key word that we would say, and he would jokingly get into this trance where he'd act rabid and start tackling people and just holding them down and... Just biting them. <laughs> I remember seeing this before. My first time up there at Ohio Con, you guys used your little code word thing, and I'm just like, what? And then, like, he just transformed before my eyes. He doesn't even like, know you. Yeah, and like this crazy madman, and, like, he was attacking <laughs> Eric, and, like, he, Eric threw him off onto the floor, and then, like, he got up and, like, looked at me, and I'm like, ah! And, like, oh, he, and he would go, he, like, like, like ah, nah, and yeah. he would grab you, he just start biting your forehead. He, like, <laughs> dove across the bed at me. Like, we would, and I'm like, ah, and I run like, and dodge, and he rammed into the wall, and then, like, Like, fell. the rafter on Jurassic Park yeah. 1, when they closed the door. Yeah, and, like, he <laughs> fell the to the ground. We would be hanging out like this, you know, and then someone would say the code word, and I would just see in the corner of my eye, this crazy fucker, like, jump across the room at me. I'm like, ah! You know? <laughs> 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 I mean, punch him. <laughs> and he'd take it like a man. Yeah. Yeah. And he'd throw him as far as he could, and he'd just get to go, ah! And then <laughs> run at you again. Yeah, it was like the craziest fucking thing. It was thing. the stupidest <laughs> juvenile thing. It was, it was so hilarious. Funny. It was funny, and I love it. So he just got this reputation of just being this crazy, so he fun, all, but crazy person. And he also kind of wanted to keep that up, the image up, obviously, too, even when he was mad. Well, he was mad, obviously, and upset and hurt. So he drives his fucking van out there. So me and Eric and our buddy Cody and our buddy Ryan and our, and our buddy Ryan. So a group of you all go out. Yeah, we all fucking drive well, we out. We got into this. Like, I never met this person. This person, like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll Tyler get you. Tyler Tyler something. We got out in his truck, this white truck, and we were in the back. And this kid was going like seventy-five miles an hour through Marietta on Colgate. <laughs> like, Rah! and I'm just like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. You know, it was <laughs> so fast. He got out there and like. Four minutes. He was doing like 40 Jeez. miles an hour down Colgate. Yeah. Yeah. 35. <laughs> he was going to... I, I, he had a police scanner. He said, we're fine. We're fine. I'm like, we're Jeez. saving somebody. We're saving somebody. And then I remember we we, we got out there and fucking... Steve, uh, number no. number one was not there. Buddy number one there. wasn't even there yet. Because he had to... I guess he had to go get gas. Well, yeah, he had to get gas. <laughs> what? And then, what I think, what happened, to interrupt your, your... I, I think what happened is he, went, he got gas and then he kind of like calmed down a little bit. And he went home and realized we weren't there. So he had to fulfill. So he's like, you know he what? Had to fulfill. I have to do it. Yeah. So Maintain his craziness. He, he had collected to items and then he... We, he, we're out there and we're, we've are seen a buddy number two, right? Didn't yeah. you call him ahead of time? We yeah, called and him. This, and this is during a time... Buddy number two had this thing where he would like absorb different personalities. Yeah. Like he was like one day he was a fucking American biker. And the next day he was like a cowboy. You know, he just yeah, and he had it, things that he liked, and he would like act yeah. like them for like a couple months. Yeah, and well, at this no, point, he really liked Bud off of Kill Bill from Kill Bill Two. And, and, and you know, we don't have I don't have I love this man like a brother. Yeah, right. It just I have my problems. Eric has his, and this is, and he he can have a lot worse problems in your life than than you know than what he has. All right. So when we get out there, he is sitting at, in his camper, like outside his camper, with a shotgun. On his lap and is playing Johnny Cash. He's just waiting, right? Yeah. He knew this day would come because he betrayed this guy and he's just waiting for vengeance. You know? Exactly like Kill Bill 2. It was yeah. so Yeah, so what happened was we got there and we're, and we're talking to him, you know what I mean? Thing, know, we're not letting anything happen. Remember, this is dead at night, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 2 30 in the morning. Well, this guy, buddy number one, he drives, he parks. We can see from a mile away. We see this the red, I the this red van. Way. With the headlights. It's a really straight road. Yeah. Right? Well, he parks like 200 okay. yards away. Like I say by you, my grandma's Don't house. you like see the lights pulling on up and all of a sudden they just go dark? Yeah, you see the lights pull up and then the lights just go dark. Well, <laughs> what happens was and he gets out and he's wearing like a fucking Japanese... Kimono. Ki- yeah. Oh my god. And he's he, got like samurai swords on his back and an axe in his hand. Yeah. And he... Bow. Bow's the bite number two. And we just start running towards him and he goes, ah! And he just... He just ran out of the woods. He ran out of the woods. And we had to look for him for like 45 minutes. I found him in a briar patch like 
like doing this. Yeah. And I'm like, hey. Yeah, he's in a fetal position. Yeah. For people are listening. Like, yeah. I, I, so Eric is just like, hey, I know you're there. I see you. And the he's guy's like, not moving. He's like, and he's like, buddy number one, <laughs> I see you. Get up. And he's just not budging. He's like, I see you, damn it. So Eric walks his ass out there. I have to there. crawl into this fucking briar patch, like all fucking, you know, like the cat mom. And it's like face. as big as this living room. You yeah. know what I mean? I had to grab him and pull him out, and then we got him to the van, you know, finally. And Well, and what, okay, I'm, we're getting some details here, but we get to a point where we get him, we talk him down, we go talk to buddy number two, we come back and he's fucking gone. Yeah. And do you remember him and Ryan got into it, and he fucking hit Ryan with a fucking pipe and a fucking jaw. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I remember, I remember that. Yeah. I wasn't even there. Didn't buddy number two eventually <laughs> call the cops or something Yeah, like he that? must down and called the fucking cops like a pussy. Yeah. Which, you know, whatever. So we but, had to get the hell out of and there. And then what happened, and what funny thing is, is buddy number two, I mean, buddy number one ran out of gas. Yeah. So, <laughs> so buddy number two gave him gas. <laughs> <laughs> so then you get the hell out of there when yeah. the cops came. Yeah. Wow. What a weird time that was. It was, yeah, dude. It was obviously, and when we, yeah. of course, in my high school, we were telling that story, and everyone's yeah. like. That, you gotta finish off the last part of it, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, buddy number two. Okay, buddy number one, we love this man so much. He's really into Japanese anime and culture. Yeah. Well, he goes to the cemetery. Near out. his girlfriend's house. Yeah. And Wait, he, is he, there anyone in the cemetery of importance? It's just a cemetery? Like, just, just near the house? Near the cemetery just, near the house. It's, just a, it's not like his grandma is buried here. They, it's not like no, his, they, they his girlfriend in, they didn't they die. They small... Shitty town where there's nothing remotely like cool Low, or fucking rural, right? No, it was in Beverly. Beverly, okay. There's nothing cool or like, like, uh, <laughs> like a cemetery is the most badass place you can go to. Yeah, you know. I'm just saying, there's no one of importance in this no. cemetery for him that he went there. Or nothing, no, right? no. It's not like his girlfriend died, so he went to her grave. No one yeah, he, he goes there, there in the middle of the night, in his fucking Japanese what's it called? Kimono. Kneels down and takes a samurai sword and cuts off his fucking hair. Now we have to remember he because he was dishonored. <laughs> yeah, he was. He just... had long hair at this time. Yeah, long and fucking he, hair. He was dishonored, so he goes there <laughs> and he cuts his hair off. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit! And then he takes his hair and he puts it on his wall as a decoration. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> so we walked in the next day and his hair is cut like shit. And then <laughs> like, and he's like, he has his weird like teeth, like hey guys. <laughs> and his hair is on the wall. <laughs> so like, what the hell happened? He's it's... like, I went to the cemetery last night and cut it. Like why? He's like, well she lives there like why would she come out there why do you think that she would see he's like I don't know <laughs> and like I, I imagine just war cry like in like, <laughs> like in last samurai yeah, you know! <laughs> when he gets his hair cut yeah, you know what I mean cause that's shame and like know? I said his hair is cut like fucking shit like uneven as a motherfucker so it was like out like this <laughs> oh man yeah and like it just was uneven as a motherfucker in the back it was like jagged yeah. It was like, I can't... Oh, because he, like, grabbed a handful and then he just started sawing on That's it. That's what he did. Blade. It looked like fucking shark teeth. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? And I, like... Like a serrated edge. Yeah. Yeah, and it just... Oh, my gosh. And then, you know, of course, that created a little schism a little bit between the relationships a little bit. And we all made up eventually. But, you know, but I it mean... It took a while. I never... Like, I honestly never took what those guys were doing super seriously. So, like, it was just so much fun. Like, it was never, it was never yeah. dull. You know, it was never you had these crazy people living in your house. <laughs> yeah. I never felt any danger. You know? I, I, well, I felt safe, man. Because remember, those guys tried to jump me that one time. Yeah, and I called the boys. I called Eric or whoever. Like I people, see, people were following Shane. It's uh, me and Cody and yeah. these, these kids that these little piece of shit kids. They were following us and whoop our asses because we whoop their asses. All right, now there's more of them than us. So we called the guys to hey, get ready, get in front of the house. I get there and Eric gets. Ten of the guys standing in front of the fucking house with swords and knives. <laughs> like, Wait, like giant like bastard swords and maces like and like fucking, chucks and like shit. Cloud strife buster swords. <laughs> so when they pull up, like Shane and Cody like run into, run into the house and turn around, like you know, so when they when they drive by, it's like fifteen fucking dangerous nerds <laughs> looking at like, them. Yeah. And they like But we fuck, were all like big, you know, everybody's on the high school on the football team and shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so then we're sitting there and they fucking just peel out of yeah. there. Like they're, they're, they're fucking mad dog and that's real bad. So, I mean, even back then we had a lot of weapons all over the place. Yeah. Like we had like in the living room we had like an umbrella stand that was just full of swords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude, it was it was a crazy time. It man. was a crazy time. It, it, I, I think that might be it for tonight, guys. Yeah, that's and that's I'm telling you guys that's just one of the very many stories we have. Yeah, but you know, and Aaron, I appreciate that topic. That was a pretty good topic. Yeah. It rolled pretty well, yeah. I think, from stuff to stuff. <laughs> you guys feel good? Yeah, that's fine. How long's it been? Probably about an hour and a half. All right, guys, thank you for listening to Blind Wave's fifth podcast. I don't know we're gonna call this one. Mm. Sleeping, dreams, sleeping stories. Sleep tight. Don't let. I don't know. A lot of them had a lot of sleep talk with it, right? Sleeping, dreaming. Sleeping, dreaming, and it all. It, uh, it, <laughs> it, all it? the stories took place at night time. What is this? I don't sleep, I dream. Huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't sleep, I dream. <laughs> there you go. That's not bad. I don't sleep, I dream. My Instagram. That's Shan's Instagram. Yes. Completely original saying. Very you know. original, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's not related to True Detective at all. And you know what the funniest thing about that is like when I just say that to people, like like when I work for the city and we're talking about, did you guys sleep last night? And I'll be like, I don't sleep, I just dream. And I'm sitting there like shoveling shit, and they're like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't think, I think they're just like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and they just, more like, the, I'm not going to talk to him no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can check out our Patreon. You can look at our YouTube channel. You can see us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. Twitch. Everything. And Blind Wave is just fucking taking over. Reddit. Reddit, yes. yes. Thank you very much, guys. You have a great day. I'm Shane. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. Calvin, hit that button. Oh, no! That's his name.